Hello and welcome to Hops and Brews. Craft Beer 101. And this week, a special invitee, a special guest. Because. I did the exact same thing yes. for next week, next mm, Thursday. And because it's Pierre de Gaulle. For an open window on the trivia world, Max and Chris from Hops and Brews. Welcome to Hops and Brews! Yeah. So this week we have the Bière de Gare that we're going to be talking about. Now, uh, we're not experts in, well, any of the beer we talk, usually we will study. This week we decided, yep. you know what, let's go directly and grab an expert, stick him in front of the camera and just let him talk. So Sammy got in touch with us and told us that Bella Yal are uh, mostly a uh, misconception around the style because a lot of people just put them in the same category as Saison. Which, in America. In which America. Is, yeah, which is exactly my research, what, what I... What I I researched what I saw was that it was pretty much a, a cousin to the saison. So in the yep. same in the same type as uh, the farmhouse, it was a beer served to your farmhands, which was uh, brewed with whatever you had around. Uh, but instead of being in Belgium, the Biarritz was in uh, France, oh, north of France. That's cool. Uh, now, naturally, uh, being cousins, there's differences in the sense that you've got different yeast yep. and different ingredients that you're going to use. Oh, so. But it's the north of France, right? North of France, Where it yes. comes mostly. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, I've made all my research um, <laughs> mostly based on the American articles that I found. So and Sammy pretty much destroyed everything you said. Destroyed no, everything no. I said. <laughs> so, that's why we got an expert today. So, Sammy, what's, what's a Bia Legale? How do you brew a Bia Legale? And what's the misconception we have? Uh, we just... Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. Let's talk about the misconception. We put the word right on point, and it's not a saison, it's a Bière de Gare. Let's put it out there. Yes, go. So Bière de Gare, it's beer for aging in English. Okay. And typically that's what it is. So we're talking about 7% to 8.5% ABV. Okay. Uh, I'm talking here about uh, the products you can find in France. Okay. Uh, nowadays. But nowadays, or? Nowadays, okay. nowadays. yeah. yeah. Yeah, the, the thing is, just like for saison, we don't have a lot of literature uh, from the past, so yeah. you can assume. Um, yeah, so there's yeah. no more recipes, there's no more nothing about and, this And there beer, were no recipes in, in the first place because people yeah. were brewing it directly uh, on site uh, at the farm. At the farm and yeah. um, with the fresh crops, usually. Yeah, yeah, and so breweries, so commercial breweries, but that was just. Uh, the recipe was secret, so you don't have access to all this yeah. information. The secret recipe exactly. from the farmer. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. So, so Bière de Gare can be, uh, most of the time, blonde. Yeah, that, that's what we, a, we're drinking a, right now. Yeah, like okay. straw blonde. Okay. Uh, or amber. Uh, okay. So a dark copper. Um, okay. Not exactly reddish in between or both. Okay, so more so on... Kind of like a reddish that's tinted in, in the brown, if we talk yeah, really exactly. more color exactly. wise. So it's mostly on the malt uh, choice that they had. Exactly. Okay. So it could remind maybe the Marzen, uh, a German Marzen, yeah. okay. in, in, in this way. Okay. So um, German cool. inspired in some ways. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeast wise, it's uh, really neutral. So okay. uh, unlike the saison where uh, it's really attenuative, it's really dry, uh, yeah. you've got this peppery. Um, sometimes phenols. Okay. Um, here it's really straightforward. Um, it's it's just a clean fermentation. You yeah. don't have any... Uh, any you get a lot of grassiness, yeah. a little bit. Uh, exactly. Spice, not that much, but the grassiness does come through. Exactly. And, and so the <clears throat> it does emphasize more on uh, on the malts. Okay. Um, so you can expect like Vienna or Munich malts. Okay, so fancy malts to put in there. Not really this one, but just <laughs> giving some level of color okay. and level of uh, maltiness to the beer. That's cool. Um, from the, the other ones we, we had the, the opportunity to try, there is this kind of honey-like sometimes, which yeah. comes with the, the, the high ABV. Yeah, a little bit of like honey sweetness to the yep. beer, right? Yep. And that's been like with the fuse we've already drank together so mm -hmm. far, yep. so yep. it's cool. Um, for the hops, so it's usually uh, noble hops, uh, sometimes um, English so or German hops. Kind of like Alertau? Alerto, yeah, Tetnang. Right? Tetnang, um, yeah. It can be Isken Golding, okay. uh, Northern Brewer. Sometimes the, the French uh, Strissel Pout, even if they use it more yeah. in Alsace than It's, it's something France. that's kind of like growing. Like the beer scene in France is growing, but uh, 
ops also like yeah. there's there's a bunch of experimental ops coming out of France right now. And Streets of Spal is one which is the traditional one in Alsace. Okay. It's, they have been growing it for for ages. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, but you've got new ones like Triskel, uh, for instance, which are more. I guess it's influencing uh, the beer yeah. industry in France as well, which is growing. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's a lot more than yeah. it used to be a couple of years ago. Exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. So there's a boom in the beer industry pretty much everywhere in the world. Pretty exactly. much everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It does impact pretty much everywhere because France is known for their wine and all those nice bottles of sh like I know it's close to champagne and all that stuff. So like. It's and, and it's a bit <laughs> shifting actually. It's well, shifting. If we talk about Bière de Garde, it's really a tree from the north, from okay. the region North Pas de Calais. Yeah. Uh, they've been brewing it for centuries. It's okay. not really a wine region for. To start with, it's because, more. Yeah, beer because of the region, weather. So, so they eat, they eat stinky cheese. They do. <laughs> they eat a bit of fries, a bit of. A no, bit of fries. It's, <laughs> so it's close to Belgium, right? So that's why they, they, they eat uh, kind of like greasy stuff, something that fills you up. Stronger beers just gets you through winter, right? It's quite quite close from the the, the Belgian food. You okay, can find some similarities. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. And, and also and the so eye fermentation of the beer. Uh, yeah. I, I want to go back to that because it was quite impressive when I opened up the beer uh, in the next episode. Uh, so woo. stay tuned. Thursday. That, that was crazy. <laughs> Thursday. We'll be reviewing a Bière de Gaulle. So, uh, shameless plug. Shameless plug again. Uh, <laughs> and it popped in my face. Not, not, not like a bad way, but I can see like the, the little smoke cloud yeah. coming out of the beer. But and it was this impressive. is conditioning. So um, you talk about type of fermentation. Yeah. So mostly Bière de Gaulle will be an uh, top fermentation, okay. so L yeast. Okay, perfect. Um, but you can find also um, some products which are um, bottom fermented, so laggard. Okay. Uh, so you can get a Bière de that's been laggard. It, it just depends on the, <coughs> the, the yeasts, the breweries selected in the first place. Okay. And those breweries have existed, some of them, for a century now. Yeah. So it's just... So the Bière de Garde does not belong to L or lager it's it's mainly L okay. but you can find uh, some lager yeah some okay. lager and you, and you don't find all the um, well in in the styles you can find in France in the product you can find in France you you don't find any um, wild yeast any bacteria okay uh, you don't have lactobacillus you don't have Breton mice so it's really clean yeah. yeast yeah, used yeah exactly to these exactly beers. so there's no <coughs> wild fermentation imp yep. implemented in those beers but uh, I like also the, the way like North America mm -hmm. took the style and made its own interpretation. You, you've got really every, nice styles. Like yeah, every time, every time, US, every yeah. time they're taking uh, like a beer style, we're just taking it and cranking it up max. Yeah, so but like to take something and bastardize it a bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's and masterized. It's just maximized. Okay, okay, yeah. I, I, okay, perfect. I, I haven't heard it <laughs> the right way. That. Sorry about that. Yeah, no worries. But it's Sorry. also hard to find uh, the true style and find those beers. Yeah, that so are usually produced in. If I want to try a yeah. uh, Gal, I know uh, if you guys want a real one, you need to go to the north of France. <laughs> uh, if is there a closer can, place? Is there a closer place, yeah. Sam? You would have to check sometime uh, at okay. LCBO, you can find the Trois Monts, uh, the Ch'ti, uh, okay. which, yeah. which are Bière de Garde, per se, okay. Blanc Trois, Trois Monts, Trois Monts, you can find it in, at uh, Brua here in Gatineau. Okay, okay. perfect. Yeah. So, so, okay, cool, that's that cool. That would be a good, uh, a good start. start. A good yeah, start exactly. just to get it yourself it's true to the style, is it yes, a little it is. different? Yeah, okay. yeah exactly. Perfect. It's brewed in northern France. Nice. Cool. Uh, here in Quebec, you've got Mons Regius, uh, okay, doing yeah. the Gallica Blonde and okay. the Amber as well. Okay, so they're um, doing both Bialy Gal. Exact, uh, exactly. Which we already reviewed. Uh, we talked about their oyster stout back in uh, yes, a few months ago, which really cool brewery. Yes. So if you want to go and check that video, and in well. Ontario, <laughs> it's still LCBO. You can find uh, more yeah, on the import better. side of things. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that's pretty cool. I love awesome. it. So I loved anything it. to conclude this to, style? This anything style. else you'd like to say? To round it up for our <laughs> viewers out there. Try it. Just try it. <laughs> try yeah. it. It's a and good, it's a, for the blonde one. It's a good alternative to a Belgian triple. Yeah, perfect. Uh, oh, I love the little yeah, version with uh, another yeah, style. Yeah. That's cool. Le less fruity, of course. Yeah. More uh, mild. Less for less, but less fruity, uh, less sweet at the mm -hmm. same time. 
but uh, I love the fact that it's kind of like a blend of uh, a, like a nice Belgian triple and a nice dry saison. Yeah, and you could so it's pair the mix it of... easily with like cured uh, ham, you know, charcuterie. Oh, Cheese could be fine. Yeah, I'm right? getting angry. Yeah, yeah. Oof, definitely. <laughs> well, uh, now, now we have to conclude because <laughs> I need to eat now. So yes. So thanks for being on the show. Thanks, thanks for talking thanks about this stuff. Like, like, clearly yeah. we needed someone to help us out with. <laughs> so thanks for being here. So okay. if, if you want to put drop to come on the show and just drop knowledge like a smoke bomb like a ninja does uh, put it down in the comment below which uh, knowledge we shall drop next that's crazy right? so in other words let us know what you'd like us to <laughs> to uh, talk about in next craft beer 101 if there's a style you're curious about if there's a brewing technique or anything like this yeah uh, and we have an email now so yeah. you can email us at beer at, at exactly so we have access to full experts if you think that we're a little bit too dumb about it so no problem we'll get their answer right for you exactly so, so cheers guys cheers and thanks for coming and, and we'll up. see you in two days yeah cheers oh crazy oh, two days is it bad yeah. oh we oui, oui. oh ça fait mal mon le temps comme 11 minutes